<laughs> two big bolts there. I guess. Yep, these two will come out. Disconnect your brake line, obviously first. Should be three up top in the trunk. Okay, cool. So we got a 19 bolts. So another good thing you can do is soak these in like some kind of a like PB blaster or something to help loosen them up before you go to break them loose if it's an older vehicle. Oh, PB blaster. Got peanut butter. The PB blaster was in the house. Ugh. Not that you always need it, but it just helps to add it. Word up. It's good. Oh god. Broke. 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 Now this one has no pressure on it because it's the first of the two. Yeah. So it comes right out. The second one, sometimes you want to put like a jack, another jack under here. Just a slightly little pressure on this. So that when this breaks loose, you're not damaging the threads with like pressure on it. So I just removed the brake line. There's just a little a wedge clip. Basically, you just have to you know pop it out. It's just wedged in there, and then you can pull the brake line off and just leave it hang. Blue Jack City. So you don't want to jack it up. You just want to apply just enough pressure that holds it in place. drop and the bottom will float freely. Cover off. Just kind of snaps off. And pull this up and there you have your three bolts so. to remove it completely. Yeah, the top is a 12 millimeter. 12 millimeter. 12 millimeter bolts! Ah. Obviously these loosen a lot easier. They have not been out in the weather. Yeah. So if you want to go down bottom, you just kind of hold the bottom face. Right. So here we go. They're not marked left or right, right? So I have to check. But obviously the smaller coils, they're a lot smaller where the you know factory ones are a lot wider. Yeah. That gives you your stiffer, you know, spring mm. rate and got it. <clears throat> so compared, they already look oh, Yeah. But if you line up the holes, maybe that you can get it true. <clears throat> Yeah. Come in. What's up? What's up, players doing an install, you know. Yeah. You got a receipt? Yeah. For what? Groceries. Oh, you got groceries? Okay. How much was it? 30 bucks. 30 bucks? Okay, good. Just didn't spend a lot. Alright, that's cool. Just send me a picture. Keep the receipt for yourself. I don't need it. Like, Pootie in the house, running through the motions. Yeah, these are slightly different. They are? The bracket on the back. Oh, uh, okay. One's on this side and the other one's on this side. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that is for, yeah, because that bracket's on that side. Yeah, see how it's like, on this one, it's off to the right. Yeah. And that one's off to the left. Okay, gotcha. And the stock one's off to the left. Okay, so you want to match got it, where the bracket is. Sometimes they'll say left or right, but since these are... $300. $300 coil cool over here. We're not expecting on it. True that. True that. It's roughly about a three and a half inch drop if you leave them the way they came packaged compared to your other ones. Oh my god, are you serious? Damn. Well, I guess we could leave it like that. <laughs> we'll see well, how. Your wheel gap, I mean, you had like five, five or six inches. Six, so. yeah. 
So three and a half wanna, wouldn't be too bad. You want to leave them like they are and see how it looks? Yeah, yeah. If that's cool. I mean, yeah. it'll be easy to adjust, right? I, I'm hoping. So. One needs to turn, turn it a little bit toward around, turn it one little bit more, like this, this side right here, turn it, it needs to go, yeah, towards me a little bit. I got one bolt on kind of though, does that matter? Okay, yeah. All right, so two, two of them are lining up, but the other one's not lining up. Yeah, point that one out for you. Yeah. yeah. All right. So when you insert them, you want the max speed racing facing in. Ah, oh, there we go. Yep. We are lined up. Oh shoot! Stop barking. Yeah, pitbull. Yeah, <laughs> All right. So you want the max speed my logo? Speed blood. The max speed logo is facing on the inside. It's all hand So once again, you got a 19 open end and a 19 socket. Socket. Okay. Rip. What's the temperature outside? Pooty weather. 25. 25 degrees. Good night. Woo. Woo. That's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your finishing line? Brake lines seem a little short for this bracket. That may be part of the whole eBay experience. So will it fit in there? Or? Well, it's not reaching to it. Oh. Like this mounting point? Yeah. It won't reach to the bracket. Shoot. By about, it needs like another, maybe an inch. Another inch? Yeah. Might be a zip tie situation. Zip ties? I love zip ties. Yeah. Zip tie? Yeah. All right. Do you guys zip tie? What's our first eBay dilemma so far? The brake lines do not reach the brake line bracket. Oh! So now we're using zippy tiesies. There's a show called 911 on Fox. It comes jaunt on January 3rd. You say it comes jaunt? It comes on. Like some, do you want to see that jaunt? I can't wait till that jaunt comes out. Are you done, Baltimore? I'm just kidding. No, what's up? So what's it about? Basically, it's about uh, emergency responders. Oh, okay. Cool. Is it like live? Is it like a TV show or like live? Yeah, it's a TV show. On Fox. On Fox? Oh, okay. Cool. Peep that out. Keep me in the loop. Just looped it around in the back. Mm. He's a loopy kind of guy. <laughs> I think we're done on this. Holy this son of a gun. How, mo how long do you think that took us? Well, the first one always takes the longest. True. So it's probably like 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Okay, cool. Oh, nice. It's faster. So overall, like, what do you think about the <laughs> fitment and stuff? I mean, I mean, good. Other than that brake line thing, which some of them are so cheap, they don't even come with brake line holders, so. True. So, first passenger side is installed. We haven't lowered it at all. Um, the thread is maxed out, so we're just dropping it. This is where we're sitting at. Right, and that's where we're at. So you lost a finger, but it's gonna go down even more when we drop the other side. Oh, okay. A little bit. Got it, got it. Yeah. All right. Get under there and grab that thing? Yeah.
quicker the side's going. Ridiculous. And once again, the brake lines do not reach. Okay, same thing. Same consistency. One thing I noticed about these cheaper coilers is like the two brackets here, when you go to tighten these, it really sucks them in a good amount till it's tight. Whereas a uh, quality brand, it wouldn't suck in as much. So you're putting a little more pressure on these welds. So hopefully time will tell if these will hold up. Tightened all the tops. Child in about there? four, almost four and a quarter up front. So we're gonna do like a loose three finger back and like a loose two finger front to get a nice stance. Cool. Okay. So up front, it's pretty much the same deal with the two bolts at the bottom. The only difference being is there's an added, like I believe it's a sensor wire and your brake line. And they're each, to take those off is a 12 millimeter. 12 millimeter. So you just wanna break the, both of those loose after you take the top bolt out. Then you can hold this and do the bottom bolt last. Okay, what is that? So, so I noticed that the top and bottom bolts down here, the top one is different. So you want to make sure this one's a little bit thicker at the base oh, here. Looks like a camber bolt. Yeah, so it is probably um, slightly angled for camber. And okay. So make sure the fatter one with the angle on it is the top bolt. Okay. When you reinstall. Okay, that makes sense because that kit that I gave you was for a front kit. Okay, so that's it on the bottom. Nice. Top, I've already soaked these with PB Blaster. They were a little weathered. Got it. Got it. That's a beautiful looking battery. Probably gonna die soon. Yeah, if I'm gonna grab the bottom. The difference, we haven't even adjusted them yet. Woo! That's at least five inches. Well, I was surprised the back. I thought it was gonna be like three and a half. It only was like a two inch drop difference. Yeah. Oh. So it doesn't matter what side, because that, that. Yeah, I'm gonna check the. Okay. So yeah, you just wanna match your bottoms. So the one will have this bracket here, and then the one on the other side looks like this. Got it. So you just want to match it the same for the sides. Got it. So th that's pretty much it. Match right there. That's it. Uh, what are the chances? These will even line up or fit the lines. Oh, this is bow lightning. He's got the <laughs> bow lightning. It's bow lightning. Keep on rolling, baby! Chocolate starfish! In the hot dog flavored water. So, what I was surprised about with these coilovers, I told Bo, is that they have camber plates on the fronts, and all four have pillow ball mounts, which for $300 coilovers, that's kind of surprising. Shoot, I guess the, the real test is how well they hold up or how long before yeah. they start leaking. All right, so make sure when mounting in 
that these are straight and the logo is facing towards engine. And then, good to go. Yeah. Nice. They just need a light tap to get them in or out with a hammer but if you have to tap hard then don't it's just like love yeah a light taps okay you don't want to hurt the threads though yeah you don't want to hurt your love relationship <laughs> step into a world where there's the front don't look like they go in as much Mine. Take that. Oh, they go in. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Eat those, Eat those words right up. Is that the bolt for that sensor wire thing? Yeah, if that is a sensor. I don't know what it is. But yeah. Something. Something Subaru. Seven balls, Jesus. But we want it too. So yeah. This might be perfect. All right. Doesn't your stock already kind of sit like, like that? The I don't slightly higher? I don't remember actually. I just. Now we are dropped down, and that's not adjusting, not lowering any of them at all so far. Whew, holy schmackers. I think I was being a real bitch. So those are all, oh, those two are the, so we can use these. Okay. So those two are 12s? Those little ones? Yeah, the OEM ones are 12s. Okay. These are 13s that okay. came with them, but they're the okay. same thread. Okay. It's just different wrench size. Got it. Put this back. So this is the horn harness. I believe. So if I got hella horns, I would just put that right there? <coughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> Bolts on bolts, I like it. It's like appetizer, food before food. I can dig it. And these are 13s. Oh, bad in. Replacement. Yeah. I wonder if I can get a more compact one that, that's, you know, that'll fit, still fit in the same spot. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh boy, here we go. Lowering it on. Oh, dang. Ah. That's a one. It's a one. Got a three. Three. Obviously, we'll dial them in more precise, but that's yeah. not what they are. Okay. So basically, by spinning this, I'm just. It's pulling this up. Yeah, got it. So we raise this, we're, ra we're lowering this an extra inch from what it was from when you first get him. So now he's spinning into two. Now we got her, got her dialed into where we wanted. This is how she's pretty much gonna sit now. Dry, what do you think, Eric? I think it looks really good. A lot more sporty. Oh, baby. So if you were to rate the overall, the product itself, the install, how like, difficult? Honestly, the install on this vehicle particular is very simple for suspension, I'd say. And for the money, man, those coilovers for 300 bucks. I mean, time will tell, but they seem like a pretty good design with what they come with and everything. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to definitely take it for a drive and um, do a review and see if we hear any noises. We already took it for one test drive so far, and nothing crazy, scary yet. But uh, we'll see. Time will tell how long they hold up. But uh, thank you, Eric Irwin, for the install. You're very welcome, sir. Irwin, shop, shop, shop.